The grading for both your demos and your class will be based on how creative you are. It's also based on how you manage the flow of the class, making sure that you spend an appropriate amount of time with the warm up, the main content of the class, as well as the final discussion. Making sure that you balance that is very important. Um, you're also going to be graded on how well you manage and adapt to individual student. Every student is going to have different needs, is going to react differently, basically will have a different personality. And so every class that you have will need to be um, changed or directed in a manner that is suitable for that, uh, for that student. And so grading will be focused on how creative you are and making sure that you adapt to what the student needs. Making sure that you as a teacher provide good, insightful examples, interesting stories, and good questions to the student is important not only for the class to have a good flow, but for the student to understand the material. Um, so now, another way that we can increase our creativeness is to ask good questions. Um, this is really important instead of just the typical, oh, do you like or do you have? So we want to sort of stay away from yes or no questions and ask engaging questions like using how or can you tell me more about something or using um, what specifically did you like about this or can you give me an example of a time or an experience and so then they're forced to use a sentence rather than just one word. Um, as for the teacher themselves you also want to make sure that you're giving good examples, giving interesting stories or something like that and so a lot of times teachers will tend to focus on sort of um, typical or sort of the go-to example and the student won't be engaged by that and so making sure that you come up with interesting stories and examples um, or asking the students interesting and relevant questions to each student will help you get a better score on both your demos and your class.